Roller was a character who was loyal and would have always had Ghost's best interests at heart. He wasn't around for long on power because Ghost killed him but left a long lasting impact on Ghost which changed him. So in this video I'm diving deep into Roller's death, how Kanan manipulated the situation and how Ghost made the wrong call. So welcome to MovieBot, let's talk season 1, Roller's death. So I hope you're all doing great and we're going to come to that scene later on in the video so welcome to I guess the start of the rewatch series which I started during the mid-season break of Power Book 2 Ghost but instead every week I'd be picking key deaths, key moments in power from season to season and how this impacted the show, how it impacted the characters such as Ghost or whoever the video is on and how it actually impacted the story on Power Book 2 Ghost. So today we're going to be talking all things about Ghost, Roller and Kanan as well but first of course if you're new here and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Universe related. So just just as a quick recap, season 1 centered around Ghost and Tommy's organization being hit by a mystery person, Pink Sneakers who of course we knew was hired by Kanan, she slashed one of Ghost and Tommy's couriers, killed Annibal and almost killed Vibora Ruiz after stabbing him multiple times but he survived. Kanan was cleaning house and he wanted Ghost dead before he left prison so he could take back what he believed to be rightfully his, the organization which Ghost took from him by setting him up to go to prison. For someone who got set up to go to prison for 10 years by one of his best friends, Kanan remained awfully calm and played it almost pitch perfect for him to take over Ghost's organization and one of the chess moves that Kanan made was to convince Ghost in killing Rolla. Ghost had Annibal on his knees, they then thought it was Ruiz who had been betraying them because of the direct contact between Ruiz and Felipe Lobos which is why they hired the Jamaicans to kill Ruiz but when they realised Ruiz was hit but not by the Jamaicans that they hired and after Tommy's visit to him they pieced the puzzle together that they were being hit by the same person, Pink Sneakers. Tommy then visited Drift who said a cousin of theirs was hit in Miami by a Latin girl hired by a group of RSKs in Miami and Ghost needed to kill Roller otherwise he would, otherwise they would have a war on their hands and it would have been all hands on deck. And one of the key moments was a conversation with Tasha but the key thing here is the relationship wasn't in a good place at the time. He said that he had a big decision to make. Tasha said you had to trust people that had been loyal to you but at this moment in time Ghost wasn't trusting Tommy his judgement on the whole Roller situation and Tasha said that is there anybody else's judgement who he trusts, someone that's been on his side the whole time and by this she meant herself but Ghost chose to trust Kanan instead. I do think that if Ghost trusted Tasha and told her that they were being hit and told Tasha that Tommy thought it was Roller, compared to what Kanan told Ghost he would have had the complete opposite from Tasha which potentially could have saved Roller's life. It would have possibly kicked off the war between the RSKs and the Soldado Nation but Roller could have been spared for something that he didn't do, maybe just. Ghost could have realised that it was Kanan who was making these moves from the inside. Something Roller said before Ghost killed him that Ghost trusts Kanan more than anybody, even Tommy. Ghost trusts Kanan because he was his teacher, he was his mentor, he taught him the ways of the streets. Ghost learned everything from Kanan. Kanan used to have a car wash where he used to clean his money and that's where Ghost got the idea to open the laundromats. But the Ghost who was once a student of Kanan, you could say outgrew his teacher and although the Kanan was an ultimate chess player, Ghost should have stopped trusting him the minute he put him behind bars. Ghost called Kanan and in normal Kanan's manipulative ways, he can convinced Ghost that Roller was the one who was hitting him from the inside but why did Kanan choose Roller? Why not choose someone else? Kanan was cleaning house, he was cleaning up Ghost's entire network and organisation with the death of Annibal, Ruiz and Roller, all of the premieres because once he was out and introduced to the Connect, once he killed Tommy he could have then built the organisation around the people that he trusted, not the people that trusted and worked under Ghost. This image of Kanan telling Ghost that it was Roller who was hitting his organisation from the inside was something that we saw Ghost do throughout the whole of power and it foreshadowed Roller's death as Kanan looked in his own reflection. Ghost wanted to go with his gut instinct and really believed that it wasn't Roller which is why he gave Roller the opportunity to talk. Roller knew why Ghost was there but he also knew that Ghost believed it wasn't him either. He asked Ghost what does Kanan gain from pointing him in the direction of Roller and we know what Kanan was gaining by having Ghost take out the boy he raised in the streets, someone that would have been loyal and remained loyal to Ghost when Kanan was out of prison and Roller was also on Kanan's old stomping ground. This is why Kanan wanted Roller dead before he was out of prison and the conversation between Ghost and Roller is probably one of the single best moments of season 1 of power for me, just before Ghost killed Roller, let's just have a look at what was said in Roller's last moments. He's my friend. I'm your friend. 
So Roller said to Ghost that I'm your friend, and although Roller wasn't on power for very long, his death was probably hard to take along with Julio and Proctor because those two characters were loyal. They were loyal to Ghost and Tommy. This is why Roller's death was hard to accept, and this conversation was deep, powerful, and had a long-lasting impact on Ghost's character for the rest of power. This is when Ghost actually started drinking again. The fact that he knew himself that he probably just killed someone who wasn't just innocent, but someone who he raised in the streets himself, someone who he had real love for. We also saw the subtle hints earlier on in the parts of the season 1 of Ghost refusing alcohol, Tommy pouring a drink right in front of Ghost and leaving the glass empty with Ghost placing the gun right next to the empty glass and it was symbolising to Ghost who was gonna start drinking again once he dealt with Roller and at that moment in time it was really crazy to think how Ghost could kill someone so loyal to him but just detach his emotions soon after killing someone that he'd raised but also show how much pain Ghost has had in his past to be able to detach his emotions just like this and kill Roller. And soon after this Ghost started having visions of Roller, the exact scene that I played out for you guys, Ghost was having replays in his minds of Roller telling him that he's his friend and no doubt this one hurt Ghost. Tasha said at the beginning of season 2 that she knew that he had real love for that boy Roller and it changed him in the sense that he started drinking again, changed the course of the future because Roller would have remained loyal to him throughout the very end and I think Tasha knew this too. I think if Ghost spoke to Tasha instead of Kaden, Roller would have definitely not have ended up dead. So what if Roller remained alive? Roller would have been that one character that Ghost really could have been able to trust. Just like how he brought Dre into the business, I do believe Roller could have been that man for him because we know he would have been loyal to Ghost to the very end. It would have also been difficult for Kanan to then kill Roller. So power would have been very different if Roller remained alive. I mentioned earlier on in the video that Julio and Proctor were two characters who were probably the most loyal on the show. Even Ghost and Tommy had their times where they would fight, go behind each other's backs with regards to certain things, but Julio and Proctor always remained loyal. So it would have been interesting to see what would have happened if Roller remained alive because it would have definitely changed the course of history. I'm curious to know what you guys think as well of how you think power would have played out if Roller was alive. I Ironically, another powerful quote came from the conversation between Ghost and Kanan during the fight in season 2 in episode 10, where he said, I'm gonna do you just like you did Roller. This is when power was really at its peak and I just wish a certain number of characters such as Roller remained alive for a bit longer because it would definitely have made the show that much more interesting in terms of trust, character development for someone like Roller, and I could definitely have seen a Dre Rope vs Roller type of situation. Ghost at one point put trust in Dre, but once a snake, always a snake, and I would have loved to have seen Roller remain alive just so he could have killed Dre for Ghost. Roller would have been a real soldier, someone like 2-Bit, but just because he meant that much more to Ghost, he would have meant that much more to the audience. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section about Roller's death in general, the powerful conversation between Roller and Ghost, and how do you think power would have played out if Roller remained alive beyond season 1 because I could have definitely seen him be a real soldier for Ghost. So drop all your thoughts and comments down below and I will be back next Sunday doing another recap video of power, so if you want me to cover anything then just let me know which one you want me to do in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button as well as giving this video a thumbs up. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.